Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia and I want to come to you to do a flip through of my um, replica LV desk agenda. And y'all, I have decided that I want to buy the real one of this as well. <laughs> At first I wasn't sure because I'm like, I don't really use this a lot. I just, you know, the design is cute, whatever. But um, I recently changed the inserts, printed my own inserts, which I'm gonna redo because um, I need to. I want to buy some new dividers for this particular agenda. And um, I don't know. I've just been finding myself reaching for it more, writing in it more. So I've ordered some inserts. Um, I still haven't found the dividers that I wanted because I'm not sure if I want to make custom dividers. I was gonna um, get some regular dividers from uh, cloth and paper, but they the ones that I wanted are out of stock for this size. So yeah but um yeah so i don't know y'all and the crazy thing is i got a message from louis vuitton the other day um saying that this was back in stock like they um i signed up to get an email because th this particular print is out of stock and when i went on the website it was out of stock so i don't know if that was a mistake or it just sold out that fast but in either case i'm probably gonna um go to the call the store and see if they have any in stock when the time comes because yeah i think i i think i love it i don't know all right so let's just go ahead and get into the video so this is the planner sorry and it's the back i have ah, this notebook is supposed to be in there but okay so let me open it for you guys okay so the way i have it set up i do have rings in it um with the clear this clear uh, ring binder I got from Amazon. And then back here, I have a Midori um, notebook, grab paper notebook. So we'll start with the front, obviously. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. All right, so this um, card here I got from the planner spot. I just keep it up here so I think it looks cute. I think I hole punched one and I had it in here because they sent me two of these, I think, by accident. Um, it's really cute. I like it. And I had hole punched the other one to put in here, but like I said, I switched out the my dashboards. This is another clip from um, Ollie Block on Etsy. In this pocket, I just have a um, business card from my friend who does nails and waxing and stuff. Um, back here, I got some pictures and then some stickers, um, some planner stickers that came with a different um, planner that I got from like TJ Maxx years ago, but I stopped using that planner, but I took out the stickers. And then this is a bookmark that I got from a bookstore in LA. And then this is just a, a wish list. I need to put this in my wish list spot um, for some nail colors that I want. So yeah, that's it. And this is just a little thing. I was trying to figure out like what I want the, um, if I get custom dividers, what I want them to say. So that's me trying to figure that out. Okay, so here, this um, card holder is from May Paper Co. Absolutely love it. It came, she, when I ordered it, it came with this um, card. Or maybe this card came in another order from her. But this is a card from May Paper Co. as well. These cards, I printed out. Um, the images are from Etsy. I mean, <laughs> the images are from Pinterest. And I just printed them out um, and stuck them in here. I thought they looked cute. But honestly, my printer doesn't is not like the best. So I feel like they're not, they don't look... They might look a little better on camera, I don't know. But I feel like in person they look a little dull. But it's still cute. And I just stuck them in here. This um, card with all the months of 2023 is from the planner spot. Um, and then I just stuck these um, circle dot stickers on them just to make it look you know, more colorful. And then I just pinned it together so this could be kind of like one thing because I don't really need to see the back of these don't really look like anything. So okay, so this is the first divider and it says goals. All the um, dashboard images are from Pinterest. So I'll link my Pinterest below so you guys can see it should be saved on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, so goals is the first tab. I just love, love, love this um, 
Oh, sorry, I was trying to make sure you guys were in uh, focus. But I just love this picture. Gives just luxurious vibes. Cute. And then I have another dashboard in here from Cloth and Paper. And so, yeah, this is my gold section. Um, I have some gold inserts from <clears throat> May Paper Co. And then this um, page marker, I believe it came with this binder from Amazon. I'll link it below. I got this binder a long time ago, so. But I really like it because it kind of has like glitter on it. I feel like it adds a little something in the background for this. So yeah, these gold inserts I'm really enjoying from the Paper Co. The next, um, oh, and these dividers are from AliExpress. They're just clear plastic dividers. Um, next, Dashboard's Finances cute all right so here i um just have this pink paper is also from aliexpress but yeah just write down my bills and stuff and then i need to pay and then i have some more like different kind of paper with um this section and the graph at the bottom also from aliexpress i purchased some financial inserts for this but I have a whole um I'll show you guys here because I'm not gonna do a flip through I have a whole um little pocket motown with like financial the whole um cloth and paper financial bundle so that's in here um and I don't I haven't been using it <laughs> usually I just write down my bills and like check them off but I really need to like get into tracking all my spending and stuff but that's what that um little planner is for so in this i just like kind of write down stuff like you know i need to pay immediately next se section is the wish list and this is just stuff that i want to buy this go here bag is on my wish list the green um i just have to have it i'm gonna get it one of these days i don't know how but i just i'm gonna get it so yeah and then behind it okay so this um dashboard i printed on the first two print it on like regular cardstock paper this um i printed on um vellum and i kind of wish i had printed it on um regular cardstock because i don't know i don't like that you can see the writing and stuff behind it but it's not it's okay like i said i'm probably gonna switch these out so now that i got the hang of like how to print and then um behind it i have another little dashboard from the planner spot i believe just so it gives it kind of like that effect so yeah that's my wish list on these papers and I have more of this paper and then this section is self-care love this and then in here I just write down like you know things I want to work on I'm going to do the 328 exercise challenge um and then I also have excuse the way this looks like I like when I went grocery shopping I took this out I didn't want to bring this whole planner in there so I took this out and used this for grocery shopping and stuff but yeah I got these meal planner inserts from May Paper Co and they are coming in handy I love them I've just now really started to use them and I just absolutely love them and I don't know meal planning for me goes with self-care because I feel like how you eat like it just goes with all that so and I'm trying to eat better um this next tab is self-development I also printed this one on vellum yeah, I think I want to print it. I don't know if you can see. It's like a girl sitting at her desk for her books and stuff. I love this image. So, yeah, self-development. This um, section, I'm just going to write down, like, um, probably, like, the books I'm reading, things I want to work on, and, like, my career and stuff. So, this um, reading log <clears throat> insert from the paper club as well. Um, and I actually track what I read and um, digitally too on Goodreads. So, and I haven't updated. I need to update this because, yeah, I definitely I didn't finish this book and I need I need to add like three, four more books actually. So yeah, those come in handy. And then I also have um, habit tracker inserts from my paper Co. Um, haven't really use these much even when I filled it in the first time like I didn't really uh so I did do dry January and I didn't check out and you see like I didn't even finish updating it um I like the um where is it oh here. 
So I believe these are from May Paper Co. too. The Habit Tracker um, little sticky notes. I actually like these better for like tracking habits. You can just write down the stuff that you want and kind of like check it off. I like it better than having like the numbers there. I don't know why. So, but I bought these things already, so I'm gonna use them. <laughs> But yeah, that's all that's in this section. This um, is just a note section. I love this image as well. So cute. And then this is just like, back here is just a bunch of like random stuff. Like this is me planning out my um, planners. Like what I want to put in each planner. Um, just stuff for my brand, for my blog. Like just a bunch of stuff. Like just written down. All, all these notes <laughs> so yeah that's really it for this planner and i have some um book reviews that i wrote and then back here in this notebook this midori notebook i absolutely love i absolutely love i will definitely purchase another one when i'm done with this but this is just kind of like a commonplace notebook where i just want to write everything kind of journal in it it came with this little um sticker to write your stuff and then um, this sticker I got uh, from in a sticker pack from AliExpress. It looks good right there. And then this is like my index. I got this idea from her name. Her name is Petite Gloom on Instagram, but um, I don't think that's her name on YouTube. But I watch her YouTube videos and like in her um, Hobonichi notebook, she has like a system where she got like, kind of like color codes, different things. So I kind of I took that idea from her, and I've been used and I use that in here. I don't want to flip through all of it because some of it is like journal and like personal things. Um, this notebook I just recently got from like TJ Maxx and it's so cute. Or Marshalls and it came in a pack of three. I'm gonna give my friend one. I gave my um boyfriend one, but so cute and it is a five size. But I'm not gonna use it in here. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I just I love notebook. Such good quality paper. I love it because I was gonna buy just like the Hobonichi notebook but i was like i'll try this midori first since this is cheaper and i love it it's great quality i need to get like the plastic case to put on it but i just um stuck it back here with like my index stickers um in the back behind the rings and it just works out perfectly because i feel like without it it's still okay, but I feel like I want my planner to be like a little, it feels like a little empty to me. I don't know. And so I just stick that back there to give it more, a little more thickness to it. Oh, and this Dustic Agenda is from DHgate from the, um, not the same seller I got the other one from, but I'll link it below. This, oh, I just put these back here just like I have some reminder stickers for May Paper Co. This is from, I have no idea. Probably from the planner spot. Let me just stick it back here. This has like the little slots and everything in the pocket. I don't um, put anything in those pockets. So, um, yeah, that's I had this in here, okay, whatever. But yeah, that is it. And I just love it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the real one because even though this one is holding up good, I just want the real thing. Cause ultimately this buying this is a test to see like, okay, am I gonna like it? Do I wanna spend six hundred and something dollars on it? I think it's like six twenty now, but which is cheaper than um the GM. And I think I like this system better. Like having the rings and being able to slip my notebook back here, which you probably can do in the gym too, but I just love this. Look how good it looks. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.